ANU sits on Aboriginal land. As I like to say, it forms a recent chapter of, of a long history of, of people coming and, and gathering at this location, exchanging knowledge and ideas. ANU has been part of my life for a long, long time and what I've really gained out of it is that it's been small enough to be collegial but it's got a standard of excellence and commitment to um, expertise and high standards. Certainly I think ANU influenced my uh, interest in, in business. It, you know, it was a, quite a dynamic uh, cohort in, going through in the, in the year that I went through. It was very enriching in the sense that academically you had access to some of the world's leading scholars who were always very accessible to students and it was diverse in the range of extracurricular activities and work opportunities that were available. Based on Maslow's hierarchy of needs, I believe the most important one is self-actualization, making a contribution to society and humankind which is what I am pursuing. From the perspective of a financial section at a large bank, it is our inescapable duty to figure out how to support the development of the economy and boost national economic development. The relationships I developed with key people who were often my lecturers at the time, some of them moved on to positions either elsewhere in Australia or in Britain, and those contacts served me really well. I was very, very privileged to go to ANU. Like most things in my life anyway, it wasn't planned, it wasn't plotted, it just happened and it worked. Being a PhD student is a busy and a long marathon, but community service has its own rewards. There's something to be said about leaving a place much better than how you found it and being a positive for it. I guess one of the things I love about ANU is the, the trust it affords to students. So the thing that students can have ideas and actually impact huge change. It's left me with appreciations of things and a way of looking at things that I've carried through my whole career.